how can we differentiate between an acute embolus and acute thrombosis? Yeah? And clinical. Okay. Good question. When you have an acute limb ischemia, which is an acute limb ischemia telling you that I am an acute limb ischemia, but it will not tell you that I am an acute limb ischemia due to embolus of So that is the first which is the PGNO. You know. This is a limb thin, pulseless, pale, okay, and maybe often the patient are not this. So till that stage, you are not going to differentiate between whether this is an embolus or a thrombus. However, in the history, and from your finding, if the patient is telling you that, well, my father or my mother had an MI, and so I just start from the PCU, or from our ICU. And you know that in the etiology that one of the reasons for having an acute embolus is post MI. If you bring that note, you know, in that side of the brain, you can okay, just put it to your mind. If you have a tube, carry it with cup water, carry it with a blood. And that blood is filled down or has got a high condition, most very quickly. You know that you have a lot of blood in the fat. With that water, you can make sure you have a very good discipline of more of heart, then you can cross the teeth. Where you say acute chronic pneumonia, and one of the 